Well, it's another death first search problem. You know you want it. You know you came for it. You can't live without it. Here we have number 200, number of islands. So this says given an M by N 2D grid map of ones land and zeros water, return the number of islands. An island is surrounded by water and is formed by connected, connecting adjacent lands horizontally and vertically. You may assume all four edges of the grid are surrounded by water. Okay, um, well, this is as if you just stepped in the Mediterranean and they say, hey, uh, identify uh, Naxos, Samos, uh, Kefalonia, Rhodes, Lesbos. Yes, that's where lesbian comes from. Let's go there. And of course, the biggest Greek island, Crete. Okay, so you have these ones and these zeros, and whenever you see a bunch of ones connected horizontally and vertically, that's kind of one island. So this is kind of one big island here, which is what they give, one island. Whereas here, you have kind of these four ones in a bunch, then this one, and then these two. So th then there's, that's three islands. So they're asking you to count the islands. So this is a depth first search in which we're going to, what we're going to do is kind of iterate through the 2D grid. And every time we see a one, we're going to go down as far as we can with the ones either, either vertically or horizontally. And we're going to flip those ones and we're going to turn them into an S character. And incidentally, I think, yeah, they should have made this a character symbol. Um, instead, they made it a, a string symbol over here, kind of the double quotes, whatever. In any case, um, every time we see the ones, we're going to convert them to S's so that we don't look at them again. And But before we start our DFS, we're going to increment our count by one. And that's it. At the end, we're just going to return our count. So first, a little sanity check. If grid, as per usual, if grid is empty, then return zero. Okay, then we're going to come up with um, an int my count, which is zero. And this is the new C++, I think they call it universal initialization. And at the end, we're going to return my count. So let's iterate down this grid. So for int i equal zero, i smaller than grid dot size. I plus plus, and now we're going to have our int j equals zero, j smaller than grid zero dot size. So these are the these are the rows j plus plus. Okay, so as we go in so okay so our check what we're going to do is eventually have some kind of magic dfs function which is going to convert them into s's so we don't want to see s's as well so if we see a one we're in if we see a zero or an s we don't go down the dfs so in fact let's just call it dfs so um if grid uh, grid i j equals one. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that's how we could do the check. Then we start the, then oh, first we need to increment my count and then we could go down the DFS. So let's send it, let's send it the grid. Let's, um, and let's send it our I and J coordinates, and actually, I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's it. We won't have to do anything else after that. Okay. Let's uh, let's get down to this. So we have this is our DFS function in which we're going to throw in our grid because the count we don't need to pass it in. We as soon as we see an island, we iterate all the way down and we could increment the count beforehand before getting in the DFS. So we're throwing our grid by reference as we're going to modify it. 
And then we're going to throw an i and const int j. Okay, now in this function here, um, okay, now if we're going too far, so all we want to do is just go in and as soon as we see more ones, we just flip them to s's so that we don't see them again as we're iterating down the grid. So let's see now. So if i smaller than zero, or let's use this C++ or, which we can right now, or j smaller than zero, or i um, bigger or equal to, um, what is this? Grid.size or j bigger or equal to grid zero dot size or um, or so okay so if we got that far that means we could check grid i j not equal to uh, what is this not equal to one uh, yeah, one. If it's not equal to one, then we just return. Or we we came to a bad square. So if we're yeah, if we hit an S or a zero, then uh, we just get out of there. Otherwise, we just set grid. Um, we just set the grid i j equals S for scene. So if it's not equal to one, then we don't care about it. Uh, and then we just uh, kind of move along in the DFS. So DFS, we're going to send it the grid, and then we're going to send it I and J every time. So, okay, so there's four different combinations. We're doing I plus one, I minus one, and we're doing j plus one, and we're doing j minus one. So going up and down, left and right. And let's see if this miraculously works. Run code, wrong answer. Expected one. When it saw a one here, so what's its problem? We got into, if it saw a one, it should at least, it should at least increment my count Oh wait, okay, so this is a one character. That's so idiotic. That's a one character, and let's make sure that we saw that. Let's run that again. Okay, now it worked. Let's submit that. And we have a winner. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have yourselves a very good day or night, whatever time it is over there.